Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com, and it's time for a product review. And yes, that is a, a tripod in my pocket. It's not just happy to see you, but it is a tripod. What tripod do I have here? I have the Vanguard Novello 245BK. So Vanguard makes this really small aluminum tripod that you can travel with, take with you wherever you want to go because it is so small. Now wh who is this for or what is it for? It's a small tripod, but the main feature of this is the fact that every time you twist the bottom here, it's unlocking a different portion of the stanchion. So four clicks, look, one, boom, two, boom, three, boom, four, boom, and there you go. I've taken this in the ocean with me, taken it to the beach, which is probably not the best thing to do, but I did it anyway. Four clicks and it opens. Four clicks and it opens. So you can go to whatever setting you want to. Now, are you gonna put a D4 onto this thing? Probably not. Could you? At this level, I probably could, but I would be very careful with the lens that I have on it because I don't want it to be top heavy. And a quick tip while we're at it is do you see how the front leg is pointing this way? You would want the lens lining up with the front leg so that it would not tilt over or tip over if you had something heavy on the front. So just a quick run through of what this does. You can see how much higher this stanchion goes. This is going to be good for a basic level camera, your T3i's, your T2i's, your D3100's, 3200's, any low level camera, even the, I'd say, up to a D7000, I think it's going to do well. Point and shoot cameras, little video cameras, it's going to be great for that, especially if you're trekking around the world and you want to have something small and light to carry with you that doesn't take up too much room, this is going to be a good tripod for that. It's $149, which prices it at the same price as the what is the Alta Pro that I've reviewed and you know they both serve a different purpose one's 149 bucks the other's 149 bucks one is really small travels with you the other's a little heavier it's meant to be used in two different situations um, I've taken this on the road with me to Florida when I didn't want to carry a big tripod and I knew that I'd be filming with a smaller camera so I've used this thing uh, what else do we have here it goes up even higher when you unscrew this. So let's put this one back in. I'll show you this. The top rotates 360 degrees. Then you have this right here. It goes forward and back. So you can do your horizontals. You can do your verticals. Lock it in. Boom. But one other thing that it also does is it gives you the ability to shoot macro. Press this button down here. Boom. It rotates. Actually, you can go underneath it. And you can shoot just like that. You can shoot down, which is awesome. Press the button back, boom, all the way back around, go like that. So if you want to shoot something low across the ground, you can shoot it this way. You rotate it, goes macro, and that works like that. The legs do extend further, but this is where you want to be careful because it is not the most, look, if you press down on here and put too much weight, you may snap the legs. But I'm putting a good amount of weight on it and it's actually not doing too much which isn't bad. So if you want to get a lower angle with a camera, you could totally do that. So let's pop a camera up on this thing. We've got the D3200 to go from there. Lower this, boom, pick up the D3200. You've got the quick release plate, which screws in, which is a good thing, screws into the bottom, boom, we snap it into here, we tighten it up, it's good to go. Rotate it, we can go forward and back, forward and back. And that's good. The legs are independent. So if, if I wanted to lean this up on something, I could go like this. If I wanted to shoot something uh, along the ground, that works. Bring it back. If I want to shorten the legs, what do I do? I lift. I want to go, I want to go all the way back down to the bottom. Four clicks, big turn, good. Four clicks, big turn, good. And again, four clicks. And that is a great way of shortening the tripod. Even if you were just doing video and you just wanted to hold the thing like this, it totally would work. It smells good. It smells a little bit like Florida and the ocean because I had it in there and I washed it off and it still works fine. Not rusty, not bad at all. It's aluminum, it's light. It's in the $149 range, which is, you know, if I had my choice between an Alta Pro aluminum tripod or this smaller aluminum tripod, I guess it all depends on what you're looking to do. If I was traveling and I knew I was only going to use this small camera and I didn't have a lot of space, then this is going to be it. But if I'm at home and I'm 
taking my car and I don't mind carrying a bigger, heavier tripod, then I'd go with that Alta Pro, uh, I believe it's the 263, because that's gonna work. But really, for traveling, something light, something small, this is gonna work. Don't put a body that's way too heavy on it. Know what its limitations are, but for what its limitations are, for how small it gets to how large it gets, when you, un when you open it up, it's a good tripod. I'm happy with it. I take it with me wherever I go because I need a third angle or a second angle for a video camera. Look at this. I put it down right here. We get it, we set it up, we're filming. There you have it. That is the Novello. Let me get the number for you so I don't mess it up. Novello 245BK from Vanguard. Making some cool tripods. And there you have it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.